Welcome to What's the Four and One, your smart source for urban lifestyle and entertainment news. I'm Kizzy Hop. I'm Onika McLean. Hello, hey. everybody. Welcome to the show. Yes, and we cannot get enough of Marvel's blockbuster hit, Black Panther. We just can't. Wakanda forever. Shimmy. All right. Oh, Mar- I think you can Wakanda dab. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be dumb. Oh, I could not. That, oh, wait. <laughs> Is that a dab? Is that a it, dab? It's, it's, it's a decent dab. A decent dab. Okay. <laughs> Black Panther is now the highest grossing domestically, we're only talking in the U.S., superhero film of all time. Can you believe that? So the movie has taken in a whopping $631 million in the U.S. alone. Wow. And so the <laughs> that figure passes the Avengers, which brought in... Six hundred and twenty-three point four million dollars back in two thousand twelve. So that was domestically as well, right? Yeah. Okay. So that Ooh. was um, mm. it's amazing. Well, Wakanda forever. Woo, 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 people talk. Okay, so <laughs> songstress Alicia Keys is doing a biopic of mm-hmm. guess who? Who? Oh. Alvin Ailey. Oh, nice. Ooh, his life isn't that going to be amazing? That is going to be really, really. Oh cool. my God! All those Leons from what was it? From fame. What was that guy? Leroy's. Oh, oh yeah. Leroy <laughs> in those tight, tight pants. I can't wait. Go ahead, Alicia. Oh my God. You think God. it's going to be a lifetime? Yeah. D- Just don't. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> lifetime is the biopic place to be. Terrible, terrible. Okay, I'm just saying, okay. Mm-mm. Mary J. Blige is, she was about to sell her house, and I guess she rethunk it, and mm. so she's taking it off the mar- off the market. It is amazing. Wow. It is in New Jersey. Uh, so I want to say it's um, $12.3 million. She bought it for $12.3 million okay. in 2008, and now I've read that it's worth 88.8 million. I don't know. Like I don't Maybe know, because she kept dropping the price. Tra- because she couldn't get it sold. She couldn't get it sold. And I wonder now, if she's leaving because can do. What, what do you guys think? Because you know how when you cut your hair off and you sell your I house and get a new car when when the man leaves. I mean, now the divorce is settled now, right? So she's like, okay, I'm not I can take I can, I can take back my house I'm now. Not gonna <laughs> cry. Go ahead, Mary. All right. So Naomi Campbell Speaking will receive. Edges. Tw- <laughs> oh, sorry, Naomi Campbell. Will receive 2018 Fashion Icon Award from the Council of Fashion Designers of America. Now, Campbell will receive the long overdue. Remember, remember when Naomi came with the girl the head? And the shade, the shade. Hit our sister in the head with the phone. Okay, sorry. The shade, damn it. Take the light off. All right. So, Campbell received the long overdue award. I'm surprised she hasn't run it before. (laughs) On June 4th, right here. In Brooklyn at the Brooklyn Museum. Oh, nice. Oh, let me shut up. She's going to hit you in the head with the phone. You <laughs> so, better hide no, your phone. No, she won't, though. Hide your phone. <laughs> I'm from East New York. You're going to come out. It will never East happen. Swinging. It will never happen. Oh, it's, Lord. Yeah, I'm, I'm built differently. But anyway, <laughs> Amber Rose. Who Looking is, it out. Who is, who is built differently, too. You saw those pictures of Amber. Oh. But anyway, so Amber Rose is broke up with 21 Savage. Oh, Lord. All right. So how old is Amber? I think she's 34 or 35. 34? Th- yeah. Put that in the comments down below, guys. Okay, so... 21 so, Savage is 25. So, so uh, tw- Oh, 21 Savage is not... Wait, he's not he 21. He can't be 21 anymore. He's so 21. he has to change his name every year. Like, what? Okay, sorry. No, Forever okay. 21 is Forever 21, right? So he could be 21 Savage forever. But 21... Forever 21 is a business, Kizzy. Well, and he's a man. He's a, a man. That's his brand. Okay. 21 Savage. So okay. anyway, so she went to Twitter and she was like, oh, I love him. I miss him. I think about him every day. But she d- she deleted the post after. So I don't know what that was about. But I don't know. But she, but she was she's probably been, feeling some type of way. And she's been getting um, trolled a lot. Like um, they were talking about her son. Like her son. Um, what did they say about her son? Her son. Um, what happened with her son? Goodness, goodness. Because they were calling him the little five-year-old boy gay. They meaning the freaking trolls on Twitter. Uh, but no, what happened? People oh, oh, limit. I know what happened. Um, uh, Taylor Swift mm-hmm. gave her son like this great a swag bag or okay. whatever because Taylor Swift is his favorite artist or whatever. Oh, really? And then the, yeah, so then the trolls were giving him crap about that. He's like, five, y'all. I know. He's five. They were saying that he was gay because he likes it. And she flipped out. She flipped out. She was like, my son has more money in his bank account than you do. Uh-huh. And actually, we're letting him just be free because his parents are creatives and he's going to be a creative. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Sure. Go ahead, Amber. Have you noticed that n- nowadays... 
the that stuff that used to be private, you know, mm -hmm. are all public conversations now. Like we're talking about everything under the sun, like sex, drugs, alcohol. I'm, I'm like your set. Yeah, I'm just excited <laughs> about it. Come see me all the time. But what do you think? You think like you don't think something should be left for the imagination? I mean, I, mean, I think you can blame that for, on social media, right? As soon as you started putting everything on social media and doing things for likes and doing things for the gram and doing all that stuff. I think it just opened everything wide I'm about to get married for the gram. I told my girlfriends that. I was like, I'm about to settle down. <laughs> and I don't care if I like it or not. I'm doing it for the gram. And you know why? Because oh. my mattress is tilting. It's like, it's tilting. <laughs> it's tilting. I've been sleeping alone too long. Oh, God. I feel like I'm all You need to opposite. get yourself the sex doll that we've been talking about. The guy? For several shows. No, I don't want a whole doll because I don't know where to put it. And I don't like clutter. <laughs> but you're even at your bed very least yes that's what i need because it's it's like <laughs> sag, only one side of my sheets be dirty the other side's brand new it's all messed up i'm just saying oh my god girl you're crazy yeah see bringing stuff out this would have been private publicly i'm that's just what saying we're about. it's tilting I feel like I'm on a see and saw. You know, like back in the days when they hold a seesaw down and you be up because the bully won't let you down. That's how I feel when I'm going to sleep. All right. I'm sorry. We'll be right back with what's yes. popping.